Let's go flying in a hot air balloon Up through the cloud cover into the blue I would go anywhere, anywhere you choose As long as I'm going with you Hey everyone, welcome back. This episode we are at the beautiful lake camp out at the Ashburton Lakes. It's a free camp with an incredible outlook and a great spot for those Lord of the Rings fans as we venture into some of the filming locations. But before we begin this vlog, it's been a bit dull. Five nights at Lake Tekapur, such a beautiful spot, but there wasn't a lot of motivation to film. Feely wasn't much better. I don't really feel like there was much to show from this location, although the pies at Feely were pretty delicious and we enjoyed some nights plugged into power. But with snow now in the forecast, finally, we were off back into the Canterbury High Country, into the stunning golden tussock and wilderness in search for snow and more amazing winter scenery. We begin from Mount Summers, a small little village with a public camping area where we filled with water, emptied our waste, topped up with diesel and headed into the hills. for a spot for a long time now. We've decided after checking out pretty much all the spots, we're going to head down this road down to the lake. Awesome views. What we've been a little bit worried about is getting stuck if the ground does get muddy or there's a lot of snow around, but I think we should be good if that does, if it does snow a lot. Beautiful afternoon evening, look at the sky. Large portions of this area were filmed as Middle Earth in the Lord of the Rings movies with wide expanses of tussock grass and mountains. It's hard to believe it's completely free to camp here and no requirement to be self-contained. There are a couple of long drop toilets and rubbish bins here as well. Okay, yeah, the ground here is definitely a bit soft but we are in spot, we are level. There's plenty of gravel down at the lakefront and we've got buckets if we do get too stuck. Definitely arrived in paradise. It's just beautiful here. It's our favourite kind of camping. Nice, quiet, peaceful, beautiful nature. Time for a time lapse. Full-time travel isn't always glamorous, but we felt we hit the jackpot with this spot. It was just perfect conditions. Man, what a beautiful still morning. It's pretty freezing out here but it is amazing. So the next morning was bitterly cold, but deadly still, and the view in front of our caravan was out of this world. It was postcard picturesque, perfect. A photographer's paradise for Your sure. Love is like the ocean tide. Steady as the wind and fierce as fire. Falling in will blur the line. And drown the fear of losing time Wake up in the field when the morning comes With blood on our backs and a brand new song You can break my body but you can't break love All we are 
so she's out there in those scuffs again. Hearty ears. And it's somebody's birthday today. Happy birthday, Riley girl. How old are you? Ten. And what are we having for breakfast? Bacon, but eggs, and hash browns. And for dinner? <clears throat> Spaghetti bolognese. Mm. And for lunch. <laughs> and for lunch. And oh, a platter. A platter. Mm. So our family, we've decided the colder the outdoor environment, the better. We all loved looking at the ice and the frost and even though it was freezing outside, we were all out there enjoying the novelty of it and that amazing view we just couldn't stop taking photos and videos of. Because it's Riley's birthday today, she gets to choose all the meals. So for breakfast, it's cooked breakfast, hash browns, eggs, bacon, baked beans, toast. For lunch, we're having a platter and for dinner, we're having spaghetti bolognese, which is her favorite meal. Um, it is just so much more motivating being out here with some sunshine even though it's freezing cold it's way better than grey, dull and muddy. This is awesome. So Riley and Sofa in there cooking up the breakfast this morning I'm going checking on them. Mmm bacon! I cooked that myself. She did. I feel like we all win for Riley's birthday. Cooked breakfast is definitely one of my favorite meals. So yum. <laughs> Look at my yum birthday breakfast. Birthday? So yum. We, we are gonna be so full by the end of today. We've got so much good food to eat. Happy birthday, dear Riley. Happy birthday to you! So we've made some discoveries this morning, uh, digging around just looking for our warm clothes. We've got like some massive mould that's been growing on the cupboards that are on the floor beside our bed. They have just got so much mould growing on things. My lovely pair of jeans. Even my ski pants, my nice snow pants for when it gets real cold, they've got mould growing on them. Just let the sun do its business. One thing mould hates is the sun, so we're just getting everything nice and dry. Give it a good wipe down and see if we can uh, rescue it. Your tramping pack that we only used about a month ago. Look, it's already getting cleaner though, or have you wiped those down? I haven't wiped anything down yet. So things like our clothing cupboards at the top, cupboards close to the floor, they just seem to get so much condensation. We put the not so used items into the bottom cupboards, which we hadn't pulled out since our hiking trip well over a month ago. But even our clothes at the top just get so wet, we leave these areas open at night to try to let the heat in there, but it's a real problem in these cold places. Is it just so wet? Well, show us how wet that is. All over here, yeah. but I've dried most of it. Oh and there's a big pile of so much pa wet paper towels. Yep. Do you want to? Right, next food is lunch, and I made a platter. Round two. Yum. Alright, we've had some friends, Michael and Kate, turn up in there. Next Gen Caravan, they actually have a cuddy cuddy as well, just like us, and they're traveling full time with their three kids. So that's good for all of our kids, I guess. They all can run around and play and make some friends. And we're fingers crossed that we're gonna get some snow in the next few days. Definitely a bit of a calm before the storm. We can sit outside on our camping chairs that haven't been out of the truck for a while, have a couple of beverages and talk about our travel stories, I guess. <laughs> what a setting to spend some time making new friends with like-minded people. The kids were all pretty quick on getting some games going together. One of the perks of life on the road is the kids don't waste time making new friends now. How was your birthday girl? Good, fun, <coughs> made some friends. And it's the best. <laughs> I keep thinking about you. 
It's going to be any snow today. She is another crispy, cold, fresh, clear sky day. But beautiful. I think we're going to go for a bit of an explore this morning further up the valley to Mount Sunday. A bit of a walk and go and see what it's all about. But at the moment, the kids are down there throwing ice everywhere. We always like to go and get our big activities done in the morning, especially when it's sunny, because often in the afternoon things can cloud up or the wind can pick up. All right, we're heading off with the tailors this morning towards Mount Sunday. So a bit of a nice gravel road and some beautiful scenery. Let's go. Are you ready? Yeah. So Mount Sunday is a major part of the Two Towers movie on Lord of the Rings is the village of Edoras. It's an easy drive into here with stunning views and a pretty short walk. Cool, well we have arrived at the car park at Mount Sunday. We'll go for a hike up this hill. There's two other people, two other cars that have arrived. Pretty much just started their walk. We might ruin it for them with six kids, but that's all right. Not might not our problem. It is definitely a very beautiful place, middle of nowhere for sure. There's a rise as we leave the shadows, as we shake the shadows and find the morning sun. These lines holding expectations and silent decks. enjoyed having a mate to join him on all his adventurous excursions along the trail going up the sideways and throwing rocks he loved it definitely a bit of a climb to get up the hill but the views are pretty awesome what a great place to come for a walk i imagine though that the weather gets pretty wild in here Well, that is Mount Sunday. Beautiful view up here. Pretty awesome that we get these beautiful clear days for these kinds of activities. We're still waiting for that snow to come in. So who knows what the weather will do this afternoon. All right, that was a great walk. We're gonna head further up the road now. It uh, dead ends, I don't think, too far from here. So we may as well go since we're here. So the Aeron station is at the end of this road. It's a massive 35,000 acre sheep and cattle farm which heads further up into the Alps from the road end. You can even book accommodation out here if you want to camp even more remotely. They pride themselves on being horse run rather than motor vehicle. Once you reach the end of the road, there's not really a lot more to see other than the beautiful scenery. Not too much to see down at the end of the road there. All right, well, we'll head back to camp now. See you after. Definitely noticing a change in the weather now. It's starting to cool right down and these all these clouds coming in. We're all so hopeful we're gonna wake up to some snow in the morning to celebrate potential weather changes. We've got the fire going down here at the lake and it looks like it might be a nice sunset. definitely been one of those trips where you think about the glamorous life of van life it's definitely been like this this time it's been awesome such a good spot to come camp
With that cloud rolling in pretty thick now, we were ready to wake up to snow in the morning. But what we got was the most pathetic dusting of snow I have ever seen in my life. This was a pretty massive southerly, but it seems everywhere that normally would get snow in these kinds of storms did, except the Canterbury. The North Island even had roads closed, there was snow on the beach in the Catlins, and then we get this tiny pathetic amount of snow. Don't think I've ever been so disappointed to see such beautiful weather. Oh, came here for the snow. We've got a little bit of snow. It is still supposed to, we've still got like three or four days where it's supposed to be snowing, so we'll have to wait and see. Definitely nothing too fresh on the mountains either. What have you got? A big piece of ice. It's just about as tall as me. <laughs> you gonna break it? Yep. Where are you gonna break it? I don't know. So thick. It almost didn't want to break. It's a crazy one. Is it taller than me? No. Nah. No. It looks so sharp there. Who put that big piece? It is. Dad. Yeah. Oh, that's about four different pieces. That. <laughs> Definitely not in any rush to be leaving such a beautiful spot. A big thing is trying to save our water. We had um, all had showers last night, and I think we only used about 15 litres for five of us. So I think they're like 20 second showers. Look at that. There's a whole lot of walks you can do here. You can walk around this lake, you can walk around Lake Clearwater, you can walk down to Lake Emma. There's lots of cool um, little hikes to do. Soph's just gone on a walk now. She's going to do the 12k loop from here around Lake Clearwater. Picking up frozen water or ice is definitely underrated, especially smashing. Whoa. Throw this big one. one. Go. Oh. There's another big. Guys, I need help. Yeah. Guys. Getting a pretty good sized pile of ice down there. Alright, well a beautiful morning this morning, we were out on a walk around the lake here and then the wind started to pick up and now it looks like maybe the snowstorm is finally arriving. So back to the campsite for some beers and yarns while the kids watched a movie in the Taylor's Caravan as tomorrow they were going to be off for more adventures. The Taylors are off today, they've filled up our diesel tank with their big 20 litre spear and they're gonna, gonna see if we can get their water that's left in their tanks and put them in ours so we don't have to leave. It is a 70 kilometre return trip to Mount Summers so good if we don't have to move because we're still waiting for the blimmin snow. It didn't snow even after all that stormy weather. Minus 7 last night. Oh, we're still waiting patiently for the snow. Less, less and less patience. <laughs> Filling up the water tanks, off the water tanks. <laughs> It was very cool hanging out with these guys for a few days for adults and kids. They have plans to travel through till at least summer and you can follow their journeys at Taylor's Tour New NZ. Also a reminder, if you follow us or see us, please feel free to come and say hello. We have no idea who watches our videos, so you know more about us than we do about you. 
Don't be shy now. So it's currently not very warm out there and very, very windy. The wind chill would be pretty excessive. Uh, Soph has gone for a drive in to find some internet so that she can get an updated forecast to see if it is worth hanging around here or whether we go somewhere else. It is a lot easier to be um, in the caravan in bad weather when you do have a little bit of internet, but there is nothing out here. But look at the lake. Definitely a view that I will never ever get sick of. It's been really nice to be out here. Got the EcoFlow giving us a bit of green power today. Might do some editing tonight. and ready to go. This is definitely probably up there in one of my top five places that we've camped so far in the South Island. Loved it here. It was great hanging out with the Taylors. Thanks Taylors for coming to find us and tracking us down. It was awesome to hang out with you guys for a few days. We are heading towards the Rakaia River to the river mouth. Apparently there's some powered sites at the Rakaia River Huts campground or something like that. $15 a night. Sounds like a bargain. So we are heading there. So we will see you in the next episode. Cheers team. Let's go flying in a hot air balloon Up through the cloud cover into the blue